Hi besties! When I went to Six Flags Magic Mountain in the beginning of July, I asked you guys on my community tab to ask me questions and I'll answer them in the video. My plan for that was to answer them while Spencer and I waited in line. However, that didn't work out for a few reasons. One, the park was surprisingly empty and the lines were really short, so we had no time to go through the questions in line. Oh my gosh, every ride we keep going on is a walk-on. I thought I would have more time in line to answer questions. Number two, the queue lines were very noisy. Okay, next question. Dogs on Stranger Things 4. Please push down Wait, and lift up on your shoulder harness. Okay, this might not be a good, this is not a good time to do this. Hold on. So it was just not a good environment for this type of video. <laughs> Third, we ended up getting a ton more questions than I was expecting, so it kind of took a long time to answer all of them, and then that just like added so much time to the vlog, which the vlog was already super long anyway. So, without further ado, here is my Q&A at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Whoosh, transition sound effect. Okay, so we already got some questions. The first one is, are you gonna be making a video of you at Six Flags? Yes. Where did you and your boyfriend meet? So Jim and I met at Phoenix Gay Rodeo in 2020. January of 2020, right before the pandemic hit. What's your favorite roller coaster in the world? X2, still X2 for sure. Very close second with Tatsu though. What about you, Spencer? Um, I don't know, X2 was really fun, but like before my favorite one was the Hulk at the Universal oh, Studios. Oh, nice. That one's really fun. Yeah, I haven't ridden that one yet. We're about to go on West Coast Racers. West Coast. Here we are. Is that how you do it? No, I'm not going to do any good signs. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, we just finished up our dip and dots underneath Cozanity. And we're going to finish answering some questions. All the questions that we have so far, we're going to run through them. That's a good question. Um, probably Mean Streak before RMC redid it into Steel Vengeance. That ride was awful. It was literally so rough. I had to pull my inhaler out on the ride because I started having an asthma attack. Oh no. For how rough it was. Like, I literally could not breathe. That and horrible. thankfully I had my inhaler in my pocket. I just like, I literally puffed it on the ride. What is the ride you've been on there and what in your favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie? Everything, everywhere, all at once. Oh, such a good yes. one. So good. Absolutely freaking loved it. I cried so hard. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Cannot wait for season five. Stranger Things is amazing. I love the attention to detail and absolutely every single little thing that they show in this in the show ties back into itself. I cannot wait to see how it wraps up. Hello, my girlfriend and I would like to meet you guys. Will you be at Magic Mountain during Wonder Woman opening? Yes. What is the longest you've ever waited in line? <laughs> That's a good question. I want to say four hours. I think four hours Four hours. It was at Cedar Point when I visited my first time summer after freshman year of high school. So that was like 2014 season. That's I like, want to say I waited four hours for Top Phil Dragster. Well, well that's point. a good one to wait for. Yeah. But I really haven't had to wait like in a crazy line like that in a long time. Like the, my longest wait lines recently in the past few years have been like an hour and a half maybe. And that's about it. I love that question. Top bucket list coaster now. It was X2 and then it was Tatsu for the longest time. So now I'm a little at a loss for what my next one is. <laughs> it's maybe Fury 325 at Carowinds or Orion at Kings Island. So I think Velocicoaster might be my number one right now for bucket list coaster. Bucket list park, Energylandia. I want to go to Ener Energylandia so freaking bad. Also, Kennywood or Dollywood? Whichever one has Lightning Run. I would love to li ride Lightning Run as well. What's the most boring coaster I've been on? Just top of mind right now, I'm going to say Gold Rusher. We just rode it. I it was fun. Like it's not, it's not necessarily a boring ride. I just like can't think of something more boring in this moment. Starting from number one and going down. X2, Tatsu, Twisted Colossus. What do I want to pick for number four? I guess it doesn't matter too much. These are my top three. Hardcore, locked in. I really like West Coast Racers, so that's number four. Um, and then Goliath. I just like it for the height, the sheer height of it. I wish there was more airtime on it and that you didn't gray out at the end of it every single time on that helix, but I think that was my top five. I'll just do top five. because. My favorite theme park slash amusement park so far? That's a tough one. Cedar Point has an extremely special place in my heart because um, I work there at the 27.
but I also love Magic Mountain. <laughs> favorite Cedar Fair Park, Cedar Point. Favorite Six Hugs Park, oh, Magic Mountain. But I also love Fiesta Texas a lot. Like Fiesta Texas was like on par with Magic Mountain, I would say. How do you get used to the stomach feeling? Like even though I rode the coaster 10 times, I'm like fighting for my life because of that feeling. Try just riding maybe a smaller coaster. For me, it was just like, I found a coaster that had like smaller drop at the end and it would give me that feeling. And I just always forced myself to look forward to it before getting on that ride. And that really helped kind of like flip the switch in my brain. What's the scariest coaster you've been on? X2, I would say. I would say X2. <laughs> what do you do when someone is sitting right next to you on a roller coaster who is super afraid or not into it? I would just try to hype them up, be like, hey, yo, you got this, don't worry, it'll be over super quick. Like, don't think about like the stress of it. Try to imagine like whatever you're afraid of on the ride as being really, really fun and like force yourself to look forward to that. And also just try to like, just like tell them to breathe. Like, just like take a deep breath, like slow down for a moment. That's how I would handle that situation. Yeah, I mean, like you've done that with me before. Yeah. Yeah, to help get you on rides and stuff. Yeah. The next two is just like, we gotta go. We just, yeah. just get on. Yeah. <laughs> just get on and go. Last question. Favorite theme park? Instead of like an amusement park, I guess is Epcot. I haven't oh. been to a lot. So, um, Epcot's I, so good. Though. Yeah, Epcot was really fun Beautiful. because the rides are actually like fun. Like they've got more intense rides at Epcot than like the rest of Disney World, I suppose. Oh, Animal Kingdom is also really cool. Um, I would love to go back to Animal Kingdom because I, that was before Everest was built. I never got to ride that. And I would love to ride Everest. Yeah. That one's good. It's not as it's not as big yeah. as they make it out to be. But it, right, because it looks huge from the mountain. Yeah. But watching the POVs, yeah, it's not that large. But it's just the theming of it and everything looks really, really fun. Yeah. Okay, we have caught up with all the questions now. Let's go ride some more rides. Yeah. <laughs>